Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. We are going to talk about the Grub Wandering Kitchen, aka the Grub Truck. I'm actually going to talk about it while eating a pizza. We're going to discuss food. We're going to discuss food. So, the Grub Truck. And we're talking about the murders in Moscow, four college students brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022, inside a home in Moscow, Idaho, and police have made no arrest. They haven't publicly identified any suspects. Murder weapon was a knife. They haven't found the knife. They're looking for a white Hyundai Elantra that they believe has critical information about this case. But let's talk about the grub truck, right? So we've seen all the images, and in case someone didn't see the images, two of the victims, Kaylee and Madison, were in downtown Moscow during the early morning hours around 1.30ish, 1.15. They were returning from a corner club, and they went to a grub truck. Seems like the grub truck was around 3rd and Main Street. These images. Yes, you've seen them, and if you haven't, welcome aboard. So, the grub truck. Who owns the grub truck? Who owns the grub truck? Well, I was doing a little digging and reading some articles and trying to learn a little bit about the owner. The owner of that grub truck is an individual by the name of John Fletcher, this guy. John Fletcher. Now Joey, Joey Woodall, Woodall is the individual that Filmed the encounter that, you know, we've seen Kaylee, Madison ordering food, and we've seen a hoodie guy behind them that people are saying is an individual, Jack Showalter. Joey Woodall, he is the manager at the time of that grub truck. But John Fletcher, he owns it. And I want to share some history about John. You know, I've, I've read some articles, and I'm going to share that with you, and we will discuss further. KLEW News did a report about the Grub Truck, aka Grub Wondering Kitchen, back in 2021. I'm going to read this to you. The Grub Wondering Kitchen, also known as Grub Truck, has been serving the city of Moscow since 2013, but owner John Fletcher had a rocky road to travel before its opening. I had just had my second restaurant fail miserably. Up in Spokane, so I was broke, said Fletcher. Broke back at Square One working for a friend at South Fork Restaurant in Pullman and a whole lot of adversity of face. But as you probably heard, out of adversity comes opportunity. I found a box truck on Craigslist for 1500 bucks. I just kind of bought it on the whim. Two years, two months later, I had it finished, so that's what I could do. You know, wasn't so much a choice, but like if I wanted to stay in the industry, stay an owner, I had to scale down, explained Fletcher. A mobile food truck seems like the perfect recipe for operating during a pandemic, pandemic, but not necessarily. Fletcher noted, we, well, we decided to close down for a couple months that the bars were closed. Grub truck parks right outside of the Garden Lounge in Moscow, targeting late-night bar-goers pass, passing by as his customers, but John wasn't in as much of a rush to reopen as other small business owners. Honestly, I feel a little guilty about trying to, like, you know, slam my business over the top during these times. You know, I don't want to try and talk people into going out when they don't want to be out in public, said Fletcher. With this in mind, after Grub Truck shut down for four months, John made sure to make everyone feel as safe as possible. We've also required masks from everyone who stops by because even though it is outdoors, once you're up there paying, your face is about a foot or two from the cashier's face. So six or 800 people come through over a course of a week. 
that makes the cashier feel pretty unsafe, added Fletcher. After experiencing going out of business with one of his restaurants, which went under during the recession, John learned his lesson and was prepared for whatever the pandemic was going to bring this time around. He survived this time because probably, you know, keep a good cash reserve and yeah, don't live too, uh, too close to the edge of your means financially, concluded Fletcher. Grub Truck, as we said earlier, is located outside the Garden Lounge in Moscow, located at 313 South Main Street. You can check out their full menu of nine different mac and cheese flavors and other menu items on their website, www.gribtruck.com. I'm thinking that's grubtruck.com. Their current hours during the pandemic, Wednesday through Sunday, Saturday from 10 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. So, and according to this report, John Fletcher, owner of the Grub Truck, is a veteran in the service industry and has worked in restaurants across the country. The owner also runs another food business, Peekaboo, on South Hill in uh, Spokane since 2005 with his sister and is still going strong. While talking about the food truck, he also added, in general, it's not very difficult. It's just kind of deciding what my favorite foods are and trying to make the best version of it that I can. The truck starts working at 11 p.m. and winds up till the last cup of customer goes off on the 500 block of South Main Street in Moscow on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. The truck also has a lot of delicious dishes on its menu, including five cheese mac, mac of the week, berry Nutella cheesecake burrito. According to Edible Idaho, he was also popular for bringing Twitch platform to his business. Through this, Fletcher has tried to stream customer experiences to the public by placing two cameras inside his truck and two cameras outside to stream customers interactions. These streaming they have also earned good contribution from food lovers across the globe. The outlet claims that on average viewers donate roughly a thousand dollars to Grub Trucks Twitch either via Bitcoin or PayPal at an estimated seven dollars per meal that's nearly 142 free burritos a month. So the truck you know, he bought for what, 1500 bucks and he has other businesses in Washington state. Uh, I said Pullman was mentioned, Spokane. I did a business search. I did a business search on this grub truck. So if you go on to uh, Google, put Idaho business search, they have a site where you can search for uh, businesses in Idaho, click on it. Really easy here. I'll put in Wondering Kitchen. Boom. This is who owns the Wondering Kitchen. It says the agent John Fletcher. It's already been reported in news agencies. He is the uh, owner. Wondering Kitchen INC. Now, if you click on that, it'll tell you more. I'm not going to click on it here because it's YouTube, but if you click on it, it shows addresses and, uh, you know, information about this business. You you know, you guys can do that on your own if you choose to. I'm just sharing, uh, you know, where you can find businesses in Idaho and information about certain businesses. The Wondering Kitchen, a.k.a. the Grub Truck. So if anyone else wants information, you can do that same tactic I just explained. Now let's talk about it. Let's talk about the drug... Uh, Grub truck. I was there. I tried to communicate with the people that were running the grub truck. I was there at night. It pulls up at night, a little bit after 10 p.m. and stays out there, to, you know, after 1 a.m. And it seems like it's out there Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays in the cold. I was there. But they didn't want to talk. I asked, watch that video, by the way. Watch that video. That's a video I posted. Uh, the people inside did not want to speak, and I respected their space. I asked, you know, it's a public street. Hey, you want to talk about this? You're the famous grub truck. No, we don't want to discuss whatever. So they don't want to discuss. I'm thinking they don't want to discuss because the authorities probably spoken to him. So what's what's the relevance to the grub truck? Do you think anyone with the grub truck, including the owner that I shared, and I'm just sharing who this guy is that owns the grub truck. Some people are not aware. There's a lot of people online saying that, Joey, the manager that had the interactions with Madison and Kaylee, is the owner. He's not the owner. 
He just is the manager. The owner is John Fletcher. So what's your thoughts on that? Even though, you know, I'm sharing what, you know, about the grub truck, but do you think the grub truck is in any way connected to these murders, right? Because there is speculation. A lot of people post in different groups. A lot of people are discussing about this case. It's a big case. It's, it's a national interest case. And, you know, they, they throw it back. Oh, the grub truck people are suspicious. Or someone around that town down by the grub truck know something you know jack showalter the hoodie guy i don't even know if he is the hoodie guy you know i'm just going by what other people said though kaylee's uh father said on the record that the hoodie guy more or less is jack showalter because he said he'd fled to africa or overseas he said so you know it, jack showalter a lot of people send an einen harsh or an einen harsh and neighbor was seen down there do you think that grub truck has critical information if there's a stalker involved with this case with Kaylee and Madison, either or, do you think the grub truck, you know, has something? Do you think authorities spoke to the grub truck owner? I would assume so based off my conversation that they didn't want to speak to me. I'm, I'm assuming the owner. Do you think the owner's involved? Do you think John is involved? John Fletcher, the owner. I don't think so, but I'm just asking you guys. I want to know your thoughts and I want to share you know, this was a point post about sharing about the grub truck. Let me know what you think. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to grub on this, in, you know, nice pizza. Delicious. Covering this case at all angles. No stone left unturned. If you want, you know, analysis, boots on the ground analysis, check out my videos. I was there. Seeing, being there is a lot different than just analyzing it over the internet. You know, when I was covering this case at the beginning stages for the first few weeks, I wasn't there. But as soon as I went there, it just takes it to another level and a different perspective in my, you, it's different. So if you want some, uh, you know, analysis there, and I plan to go back too. Definitely subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I'll be posting more videos soon. Praying for the victim's families. Praying for the community. It was a ghost town when I was there in Moscow. Now, that could be because of the holidays in this college town, whatnot, but nobody's around. But there was some people ordering food from the grub truck. Everyone be safe. God bless. Eat well, my friends.